Hello, my French horn players. Welcome to our warm up video. In this video, we're going to go through all the warm ups we would normally do, like if we were having um, a regular lesson, starting with our mouthpiece buzzes and then some long tones, and then finally going up and down um, our different scales. And we're going to review those fingerings and um, what we should be doing with our embouchure as we do all those things. So, the first thing, just like if we were in a lesson, that we're going to do is um, our mouthpiece buzzes. So let's take our mouthpiece. Your goal is to go as long as you can. Um, and remember, the quieter that your buzz is, the longer it should last. So you're gonna have to count for yourself because I'm also gonna be buzzing, okay? I might stop ahead of you if I run out of air. Don't take a new breath. We wanna see how far you can get with one breath, okay? And then really, if you can keep track of it and each time try to go at least one beat longer, that's excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be our counter here, our metronome. Take a nice, deep, relaxed breath, not from here, because that tightens everything up, but from your diaphragm, from your stomach. Here we go, ready? One, two, ready, five. In case you are still going. Okay, let's go again. Ready? One, two, ready. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I was definitely able to go longer the second time. Okay, let's do some roller coasters. So starting at the top, and remember inside your mouth too, your tongue is doing that same thing. Your tongue changes its shape from flat to kind of like curved and dip down. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Nice. One more. Down and up. One, two. Ready, go. Ooh. Nice. Okay, sirens. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Ooh. And you can start making those sirens as long as you can go as well. All right, we're going to do a second siren, new starting place. So higher or lower. I'm going to go higher this time. Here we go. Ready, one. Two, ready, sirens. Okay, let's put our mouthpiece on our horn. We're going to do some long tones. So by long tones, what I mean is um, eight beats, if you can. Eight beats. Um, so it's like two whole notes tied together with that curved line. Um, two whole notes. Put together, no tonguing in between. Uh, our first five notes. We're gonna start on C, D, E, F, and then G, and then we'll do those long tones coming back down. So the goal of your long tone is to get a really nice, beautiful, full, rich sound. Um, that was something I really love about the French horn is how our mellow sound can have this beautiful, rich tone to it. So that's what we're gonna go for. And um, also obviously making sure we hit the right note. So if we're holding it for eight beats, if you don't get that note right on, that's fine. Cause there's seven more beats where you can listen to it and use your ear. Every brass instrument player, um, we work on having a really good ear cause that tells us if we're playing the right note, right? Cause we know C is open, E is open, G is open. The C above that is open. So um, use your ear to really lock in on that, song, on that note. Here we go. So let's do eight beats. Let me change my metronome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, okay? Starting with C. One, two, ready, and. Rest, ready, go to D. Ready, go to E. 
test. Ready, go to G. Ready, G again. Here we go. Rest back down to F. Rest. Ready, now for E. Rest. Ready, D. Here we go. C is next. Ready, play. Okay, so those are our long tones. Um, if you want to keep bumping those up, count for 10 beats. Count for 12 beats, okay? Now, we're going to go further up the scale. We're going to go from C to C. If you're not all the way there yet, I know there's some of us that maybe got to that A, or you were working on um, your B natural after that. Just play what you can, okay? So, where I'm going to go from C to C on half notes. So, if you remember, half notes are worth two beats. So, we're C, D, E, F, G, A. B natural, C. Remember, this is B natural, so it's going to be second valve, okay? Not B flat, which is first up. B natural in this C scale. So here we go. I'm going to turn my metronome back on. When we get to the top, I'm going to replay that C. So we'll do C, rest, rest, C, B, A, and then we'll descend, okay? Here we go. Starting on C. C major scale, half notes. One, two, ready. Ready, on. I'm going to slow that down a little bit. I feel like that felt pretty fast. There we go. Let's try again. One, two, half notes again. Ready? Start with C. the same speed we're gonna do quarter notes c d e f and you can slur them or tongue them whatever is easier for you actually it'd be great if you practice both i'm tonguing but you can certainly slur it and then practice tonguing are you ready one two quarter notes <laughs> Great job. There's a couple other exercises we're going to do, um, all using the same fingering. So it's really going to be a workout for our lips and our embouchure. So we're going to play um, G, E, C, E, G. All of those notes are open, right? No valves. So it's all the work here. Okay. Listen once. Not only can you see the corners of my mouth moving, but really inside my mouth, my tongue is changing to e -o -o -e. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's do that. G, E, C, E, G. Working on a lot of control with our lips. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, and. <laughs> Do it again. One more time. Here we go. 
Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do that same pattern, but we're going to put our second finger down. All right. Ready? So let's try it. Same thing. Same thing happening with your mouth. You just got a valve down. One, two, ready, go. Ready? Two more times. And last time, go. Good. Now let's do first valve. Okay, so first finger. One, two, ready, first valve, go. Ready? Two more times. Good. Last time. Here you go. Excellent. Okay. Now, um, let's do one and two. So we're going to go a little bit lower. One. We're stepping down. Each one of these patterns getting lower, right? One, two. Ready? First and second. Ready, two more. Good, last one, here we go. Excellent. So um, that lowest note that you were just playing there, that's your low A. So we've got C, low B natural, low B flat, and then low A. I'm going to make um, another video for my French horn players that's got... Um, your B flat scale and then your F scale and um, let's see, maybe even a G scale in it so you guys can start working on some other scales and things like that. So um, I hope that you found this to be a good warm up. Practice all of those things anytime that you want. Um, make your long tones as long as you can hold them. Make your buzzes as long as you can hold them. A lot of accuracy. Be nice and precise when we're doing that. Ooh, right with your embouchure um the more you play the better it's going to be i really miss you guys keep working